G'day, 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 and uh, welcome back to another episode of Flying with Gertie. So, as promised, uh, we are going to fly over London Town today. It's a nice, bright, early morning, um, and we are going to go and have a little bit of a look around. So I'm not going to uh, do too much narration, maybe point out a few uh, sites and that... Um, we will turn off the uh, markers so that we don't have all those ugly things uh, uh, interfering with us. And uh, yeah, we'll get some nice, a bit of a nice look around London. We're going to fly up the river, along the river, around the river, over the town. We're going to try and hunt out, see if we can find Buckingham Palace. Um, my uh, map finding skills and knowledge of London is not that great, so it's going to be all a little bit of uh, more good luck than good management. Anyway, let's hope you'll enjoy this flight. We'll, uh, let's get this old girl up and running. We're in the old cub today. It's going to let us uh, have a little bit of a fly around, a little bit of a look. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. All right, so let's uh, just uh, tune into the ATIS. Uh, 136355. And we'll have pick up what runway we are taking off on today. I would suggest that uh, it's going to be 27, runway 27. But, uh, you know, let's just double check, make sure we, uh, we know where we're going. I love these sky conditions. They're never accurate. Never accurate. Request taxi, departing straight out. City ground Savage, Golf Uniform, Romeo, Delta, Yankee, one ready to taxi, departing straight out with Sierra. Savage, Golf Uniform, Romeo, Delta, Yankee, one taxi, to and hold short of runway 27 via taxiway, Yankee, Charlie, Delta, Yankee, Echo, Kilo, Mike, Lima. Contact tower on 129er, decimal 455, when ready. Okay, 129 using taxiway, Yankee, Charlie, Delta, Yankee. Okay, righty ho, let's get up and going. Now, hopefully I'll be able to give you a few views from different, you know, out of the window of the aircraft, from outside the aircraft, and you can have a look at the scenery. So, this airport that we're taking off from is London City Airport. Uh, the scenery provided for this airport is by Orbix. So, it's a pretty highly detailed airport. Um, it is really taxing my computer, this, <laughs> this scenery with the photogrammetry of London and then we've also got the uh, London landmarks package from Orbix as well blended in there with the scenery as you can see it's pretty highly detailed and uh, yeah a few planes there a couple of planes parked up at the um, at the airport so uh, right let's uh, let's get going Um, we are up and away already. Like I said, this thing takes off in about 10 feet. Okay, oh, flaps up. We're not going to be flying too high today. Maybe six or seven, eight hundred feet up. Give you a bit of a view.
because you love the photogrammetry, the melted buildings. They don't look great from down this level. I'm hoping, we're hoping, a lot of us are hoping that uh, the photogrammetry we improved. Um, but the higher you get, it sort of like makes it look a little bit better. better. It's just the loading times that uh, are a bit of an issue. They really um, yeah, take a lot of time to load up. But there's the O2 Stadium down there. I'm sure anybody who's from the UK will uh, will recognise this. There's a container ship down there as well, looks of things. Parked at... Uh, looks like a cable boat. Looks like it's uh, lays, look, look, laying cable. There's actually a cable car there going across the river. I never noticed that before, but... Yeah, there we go, look at that. Traversing across the river there, there's a cable car from one side to the other. Looks like it goes across to where where the airport mat is. Alright, just pop outside the aircraft now and you can have a little bit of a look around. I believe that's a Marine Greenwich building down there. And there seems to be a cruise ship sitting in the Thames today. We're going to come around, fly down the river. We have our chase helicopter behind us. Just giving you an idea of the scenery. Looking back in, and it looks like the centre of London there. There's a lot of buildings there. A few ships in the Thames. All these nice houses down on the riverbank. Beautiful. Oh, he's, um, okay, coming up here, what have we got here? We're going to have the, uh, looks like, uh, Tower Bridge. There's a few yachts and stuff up here. So there's Tower Bridge. Oh, a few yachts and stuff in the old rich man's quarters down there. And over here, of course, next to Tower Bridge is the Tower of London. And there looks like a large naval cruiser in there. Wow, that's a big uh, naval cruiser.
I believe this is uh, uh, some sort of r railway station and um, I think this is where and please correct me if I'm wrong if anybody knows but I think this is actually where the uh, is this where the uh, Eurostar departs from okay now we've got London Eye whoops sorry about that there we got the London Eye. We're passing over the London Eye. Like I say, there's a few stutters and things. This is uh, this scenery is pretty taxing on my machine, so I do apologise for the for the stutters. We've got a lovely big park up here. Some ob observatory or... What have we got there? Uh, and a statue. Some sort of temple there. And uh, we're going to come around so up here. This is uh, not sure. Is this BBC Tower or something like that? Is it? Um,
Let's look at another train station here. It's a great, great old train station, that one. Grand old train station. I don't see if we've... have we seen Big Ben yet? Okay, I think we should go back round and have a look. See if we can say if we can find Big Ben. Can anybody point me in the right direction? I'm lost. I think it's over here. Near the London Eye. Across the other side of the river. We flew right past it last time.
Big Ben of Westminster Abbey. Right there below us. And of course, the building that everybody knows. Yes. It's Buckingham Palace. And uh, I don't see a flag flying, so I'd say the old girl's not home today. All right. We'll just go around one more time. follow the main road down here and we should get to the gate and to I think this is uh what's this one called this is Piccadilly Square or is that what they call it I'm not sure but there it is you go through the gate there's the fountains and the monument. There you go. Oh, let's get back some altitude and we're going to head back to the airport, folks. We've had a little bit of a fly around. It's been a bit of fun. So it's, it's now time to head back to the airport and... Uh, pop this baby back on the ground. We can see London City Airport out there. Okay, we'll tune in. Okay. Enter left downwind runway two seven Savage Delta Yankee one. There's the cable car I was talking about going across the river.
not sure how that big boat got in there. Unless there's a uh, that bridge at the end um, lifts up, but yeah, I'm not quite sure how he gets out. Delta Yankee one wind zero nine or two at eight. Clear to land runway two seven. Clear to land runway two seven Savage Delta Yankee one. Really hit the old frame rate uh, limitation now, haven't we? And we are down. You guys are impatient. Hmm. There's a plane parked where we were parked. We'll have to choose the uh, parking spot next to him, I guess.
Savage Delta Yankee One. City Ground Savage Golf Uniform Romeo Delta Yankee One Taxi to West Parking. Savage Golf Uniform Romeo Delta Yankee One Taxi to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Echo Yankee. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Echo Yankee Savage Delta Yankee One. There we go, and uh, we are back, folks. Um, thank you uh, once again for um, coming along on that uh, brief flight. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you're enjoying my flight videos, please like and subscribe. Hit the button below. Hit the little bell button, then you'll know when I've got a new video coming up, and uh, you'll be able to get on board. Uh, once I get out of this really heavy area, we'll get back to a little bit more of uh, a couple more live flights. Um, we're going to head down from London now um, towards the uh, English Channel and we'll probably do a flight around the uh, White Cliffs of Dover before heading across the Channel into the Netherlands and uh, be continuing our tour from there. So once again, thanks for joining me and uh, adios.